finally, uh, finally get to take your seats again. Thank you, thank you all. And uh, it's good to know that my marketing team are in full voice today. Thank you, team. And now it's time for our student vote of thanks. I'm going to uh, invite up onto the pulpit Jamie Parker, who's one of this year's graduates, who's going to offer that vote of thanks. Jamie. Good afternoon everyone. I hope we're all enjoying this special day. I'd just like to say this graduation ceremony is not just a celebration but also a reflection of our journeys as students. From induction day when everything was new and exciting to the final deadline of the last assignment when, as I'm sure most of us can relate, we were a little more experienced and sure of what we could achieve. Upon that reflection, I had to ask, what and who am I thankful for? And what are the reasons for expressing that gratitude? I hope what I'm about to say reflects the value we share for what these people have given us and continue to give us. Firstly, to our lecturers. Thank you for the years in which you have given invaluable help, guidance, and support both academically and emotionally. If ever we were at a tricky spot with understanding the coursework or in our personal lives, you were there for us and kept the schedule on track. Your enthusiasm and encouragement really helped us to keep going and reach our potential. Being a smaller college meant that you got to know us well individually, something we really appreciated. To the entire Warwickshire College group staff, your daily responsibilities to ensure the college was open and accessible to every student, staff member and visitor was greatly appreciated. To the student residential team who made sure students like myself, nervous about living and studying away from home for the first time, could settle in comfortably, take part in social activities and events to give us a break away from the long nights and make new friends. Thank you to the duty wardens who dealt with any problems and upheld the college's policy on British values and moral standards. To the catering staff, thank you for running the college canteen so well. Your friendly manner made all the difference. Making sure hot meals were provided in the middle of the day and in the evenings. I was always grateful for the times it has been open so I could prepare for an all-nighter. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be... <laughs> it wouldn't be a true reflection of our student experience without mentioning the C word. If there is one thing that I found during the different lockdowns and receiving lectures online whilst on the course, it's just how vital going to them in person was. Personal contact and being in the same room as your fellow classmates and lecturers, the interchange of ideas, sharing of skills, challenging each other on our held opinions and beliefs was stimulating and so beneficial to the entire learning experience. Only when lockdowns were lifted and normal service resumed 
it was appreciated more than ever before. Personally, I found the pandemic had given me an idea to use for my module on documentary film, when I had been struggling to come up with an inspiration I could use and treat with enthusiasm. This worked really well in the end, so in some respects it wasn't all bad. Which brings me onto my last moment of appreciation for our family and friends. Thank you for sticking by us when we thought we were kidding ourselves, full of self-doubt, and that we were never going to achieve a degree we could be proud of. You listened, you reassured us, you gave advice, and said all of the things we needed to hear. So what have we learned from our degree experience? Degrees are hard. They test your curiosity, your ability to discover things, to understand them, and to apply them to the task in hand. I learned, be organized, have the courage of your convictions, don't suffer in silence and never be afraid to ask for help. From this moment on, it's onwards and upwards. If you got the degree you wanted, congratulations, I'm happy for you. If it wasn't what you expected, don't be disheartened. You'll get there in time. The world is opening up, and so should we, to our future possibilities. So let's go out and embrace it. Thank you.